What's up? This is 50 Cent, and you're now tuned in to KillerHipHop.com. Keep it locked. But SMS Audio to me is it's a premier audio brand, so they'll see more than actual headsets come out in the future. I, actually, I'm excited. I can't wait to see CES so I can show off some of the things we've been working on. But the actual headsets, it was cool for me to come with something that didn't actually exist on the market. So the Sync headset it has a lossless wireless technology. It's a clear technology that allows you to be 50 feet away from a single source of, of music and you can sync four headsets up to one single source of music if you'd like. I was more excited with actually having ownership and ability to uh, to have say so over what my name is is on brand wise, you know, because a lot of license agreements start out great, start out as they were intended, and then in the end it ends up on cheap sound qualities, you know, things that are on the side that you don't direct, actually want to be associated with and you have no choice at that point because you're recouping an advance that they've given. Yeah. What makes them stand out is the ability to, the, I think the wireless technology is exciting, you know what I'm saying? And the ability to have 40 millimeter drivers in them that allow you to have onboard equalizers for you to skip f forward and rewind onboard of the actual headset, so that's cool. Now, I don't believe that. Like, I've always had, I'm probably the most outspoken artist on Interscope Records, you know, and I don't think y'all can credit any of our uh, friction at any points to headsets. You know, like Russell Simmons wasn't angry at uh, hip hop culture for following in his footsteps with urban clothing. As far as Fat Farm is concerned, when you look around and you see Rockaway and Sean John and G on it and all these other brands that existed following that, you know, I don't think there was an issue there. It'd have been very easy for me to, you know, to join that. I wasn't in cycle. If I was in cycle, it would immediately approach me to be a part of that deal because I wasn't in, and at the final actual record within the agreement, we had auditing issues that left them in a space where they concentrated on other things like Lady Gaga and Justin Bieber. I'm not sure um following this actual record or whether I'll be, you know, right back making another record right after this. I um I took a lot of time during this album. I, I'm inspired now to make music. So, I mean, maybe in process I'll come up with a concept and start developing the material for what the next album will be and then be really excited about it after this is already out, but um if the process is anything like the waiting that was involved with this actual album, th this there may not be another record. Well, my next record will be a detox. It'll be one that you wait a long time for. G Unit, as a record label, um, it's cool. We got some exciting things happening. We got uh, Kid Kid, you got Paris. Um, other artists like Shorty Lowe, he got his own little crew, developing new artists and, and getting ready to start the new wave of what well, G-Unit, the new uh, faces of the actual brand, you know. Um, what's next is, shoot, we could do all those things over again, better now. You know, what's, what's, what's more exciting is now I have a clear understanding of what's necessary in each one of those actual roles. And in my comfort level is allowing me to do things that I wasn't able to do in the very beginning, meaning I'm not afraid to go.
go the startup route and own the company itself in the actual beginning versus just uh, endorsing or signing on as a promoter for someone else's company. 